That is right, Lauren. It is Tuesday, Tuesday here on Wing It Buffalo Style. That means we're going to be going over all of the big music news. We are welcoming, of course, Judd from Kiss 98.5. And Judd, let's start it with one of the leading ladies of pop. That is Katy Perry. After a lot of hype, Katy Perry's new album, Prism, finally hit the shelves yesterday. And uh, from the number one hit, Roar, to Dark mm -hmm. Horses and Ghosts, she definitely um, is, is utilizing a lot of different styles in this music. Yeah, if you thought this was going to be her last album, Teenage Dream, 2.0, not at all. Uh, this is not your go-ahead sugary pop music. This is very organic, kind of dark. Uh, and one of the songs is called Dark Horse, um, and it's actually the only collaboration on the album. It's all her other than the one track with Juicy J. Um, but very different sounding, and uh, it's definitely going to be a number one album. Released yesterday with limited release to her fan club and a couple of exclusives um, out worldwide today on iTunes and everywhere else. Now, do you think all those people that love that sort of happy pop Katy Perry are going to also like this album? Yeah, I think she's very, um, she's very on trend with what's kind of going on. She's got definitely a couple disco tracks kind of sounding things in there which has been very prevalent with, you know, Bruno Mars and Justin Timberlake and everything, the big band. Um, but also it's got killer ballads like Unconditionally, the brand new single that just came out um, that you can hear on the radio. Uh, definitely kind of pulls at the heartstrings a little bit and tells you what she was going through through her old marriage breakup and now being with John Mayer. And another uh, sort of lady of pop that people cannot stop talking about, and that is Lady Gaga. She just released a new song featuring a, a little strange of a <laughs> collaboration, R. Kelly. It's called Do What You Want, and it is climbing the charts right now. And I have to say, I have friends who will not stop talking about this song. Yeah, this is huge. I, definitely strange with R. Kelly. I mean, I thought he was just writing more and more chapters of Stuck in the Closet. Stuck in the Closet. But, he, came uh, out. He, came, he came out, and now he's working with this. It's, it's an interesting collaboration. Uh, it's definitely not what I would assume is your normal Gaga music. Um, but good to see that this album isn't going to be um, kind of like the last one kind of fell a little bit flat for a lot of people. This one seems to be much more multidimensional, much more interesting. And um, I mean, she's got R. Kelly on a track. You know, before someone told me it was Lady Gaga, I heard it and it sounded a little bit like an, uh, a Christina Aguilera song a little bit. Yeah, she belts it out. She's, she's not afraid to show that she can really sing, that she is more than just kind of your club dance things that applause was. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see uh, what is more on the Art Prop album. This is one that really hasn't had a whole lot of the tracks leak out, which is nice. Um, I think there's three or four kind of floating around there, but definitely a lot more to be heard. And of course, with Lady Gaga, you have no idea what to expect. So no. it's definitely going to be <laughs> an interesting album. Have to you seen the through. album cover for the song? It's, we're looking at it right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Now we want to move on to Kanye West. Of course, he's big in the news right now with his marriage proposal to Kim Kardashian. But he just started his Yeezus tour, and it seems like he's already running into some problems with it. Yeah, I wish this tour was coming to Buffalo. Apparently, it's a gigantic set. He's got a full mountain, and he flies around the stage, and he's got all these things. But apparently, they're having some problems. They delayed. They canceled the first uh, show date. They did the first date in Seattle. He went on two hours late because the stage wasn't set up. And he's canceled the next one. And from what I'm hearing, it's going to be delayed even a little bit longer, that they've kind of delayed the entire tour a little bit because of uh, how much is put into it. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can pull it off, what is all involved, or if this is all just having to do uh, with the whole marriage. And, you know, and he's there's got even a little do. bit of controversy about his uh, tour merchandise, that, that we're seeing pictures of that being leaked. And some people aren't too happy with that. But of course, Judd, we have to leave you now. You will be back here in the <laughs> the studio again to talk about what's happening in the world of music next Tuesday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. but right now we're going to have